welcome to show number three of IDTV 2011. The finale, baby. It's here. I'm Rudy Solis. And I'm Stephanie Chong. Rudy, I can't believe it. This is it. I knew May would come too soon. Yeah, but it's not all bad, Stephanie. It's the merry month of May. And do you know what that means? Yeah, it's over for us. Yes, but also, it's my birthday. That's very important. Second, it's Carnival here in San Francisco. Are you ready? For what? Give me a beat. Okay. Rudy, what are you doing? Foot five, foot five. There okay. you go. Okay, am I supposed to join you now? Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it, dude. I got it right. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. And actually, we do have some great pieces prepared for today. We have stories about a Bayview legend, delicious food trucks, CCSF athletes, and a program for homeless students. And John Rizzo, the president of the Board of Trustees for CCSF, will speak to us about these crazy budget cuts. To chill out after all that, members of the vintage big band, Megaflame, will send us into the end of the semester. But first, we are delighted to welcome San Francisco actor Dan Hoyle into our studio. Dan spent 100 days traveling across the U.S. to experience America outside the San Francisco bubble. From that experience, he wrote and performed a successful solo show, which he calls Real Americans. Hi, Dan. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks for having me. It's such an honor to have you here. So tell us, how is your latest um, extension at the Marsh going? going great. We sold out in May, so we've added dates in July. That's really cool. And I know that we're, you're going to perform a snippet for us from The Real Americans. Let's check him out. So before I traveled around the country, I was hanging out with my friends in San Francisco having brunch. Hey, you guys want some of this fruit compote? The pears are house braised and the syrup was sustainably raised on reclaimed industrial land in Detroit by an alternative girls' school for children of the Taliban. Go ahead, Pete. Who knew saving the world could be so f***ing delicious? Actually, Dave, we're politicizing people one meal at a time. Oh, sure, I'll have another mimosa, but small, yeah, recessionista. Can we have some more of that jalapeno butter? So good. You guys like my new shoes? Those are f***ing sick, Marlene. F***ing pimp that shit, girl. I love that mushroom green color. It's, like, so ugly that it's pretty. Thanks, Emily. You're so sweet. You like them, Pete? Yeah. I just don't really believe in buying. I've been living off the waste stream. You know, dumpster diving, reclaim materials. Ah, mooching on my roommates, crashing on my couch. Dude, 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 capitalism won, all right? And it's a good thing. No capitalism, no fruit compote. I'm, like, so over it. I'm just, like, so over everything these days. Like, this SUV was honking at me. Okay, I was still crossing on a red light. But I'm, like, you bitch, your carbon footprint is twice mine. And then I'm, like, even over myself because I'm such a hipster bitch, too, you know? Yeah, I hate SUVs, too. But it's sad what's happening in Detroit, you know, with deindustrialization. It's called creative destruction, all right? Well, in my town, it was not pretty. And that was 10 years ago, right, Emily? Every time I go back to Tennessee, I fucking feel ill. I think it's what they eat. I mean, my cousins in Michigan, the potato salad, so much mayonnaise. And then they start making fun of Mexicans. I'm like, oh, I don't think this is what Jefferson had in mind. But that's the real America. I mean, my buddy and I drove across the country after college, next stopped in all the cafes, talked to locals, like ate pie. We were trying to get them to adopt organic food practices. They, they weren't really down. They were, like, keying our cars and stuff. So, of course, we had to respect their cultural space. I just Googled the real America. There's a video. This farmer's milking a cow. The cow lays a fat fart in his face. It's only 10 seconds. Woohoo! 
Dan. Oh my goodness, that was impressive. Thanks, thanks. Thank you, and um, best of luck for your upcoming shows. All right. Thank you once again for being here with us today. And guys, be be sure to catch his show now playing at the Marsh Theater at 1062 Valencia, in the Mission through July 20.